What up, people of the internet? Erica here. Today I am coming to you with another day in the life. So stay tuned. Look at these shelves. Aren't they neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the one? The one who has all the books on these shelves. Adventures are told. How many adventures can one shelf hold? Looking around, here you think, sure, I've got all the books. Okay, so it is Monday, September 25th, and I am planning to get a ton of reading done today, so we shall see how this goes, because I always play in that, and then I don't read as much as I actually want to, so, um, so the plan in this video is to, um, well, first off, I was, um, the plan was to read another story in this, and I did that already this morning. And I didn't really care for it that much. Um, it was basically about, um, there's a serial killer on the loose, but they're, the, like, this, this guy and this girl, they're on a date, and they go to this, like, like, far away from the town, and she's after the movies, and to, you know, like, make out, I guess, and she was freaking out because she heard about the serial killer that was loose, and, um, and he was trying to convince her, like, nothing's wrong, he's probably miles away, and all that, blah, 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 and then, um, he finally gets to the point where he, he gets upset because she's more in tune to, hang on, anyway, he gets to the point where, um, he gets upset because she's too in tune and too scared that the serial killer is going to come along and it has a hook for her hand and um that he just gets pissed off and takes her home um uh, but when he he gets out to um you know open her door to let her out he just freezes in place with a horror horrified expression on his face because the hook is dangling from the passenger side. Uh, so I, I guess that means it kind of, it's kind of funny if you think about it, because I guess that means the hook guy was in the process of opening the door with his hook hand, and it, you know, he the guy sped off and you know ripped the hook right off his. <laughs> so in a way, it's kind of funny actually. So anyway, um. I may re go ahead and read one more story in this today, and then <clears throat> I started reading um, The Wonderful World of Peanuts by Charles M. Schultz, so that shouldn't take me very long to complete. I would like to at least read another maybe 50 to 100 pages in Things We Left Behind by Lucy Score. I'm still really loving this book. Like I said, I'm just taking my time with it. Um... So we shall maybe at least read this much today. Um, so we shall see how much I can accomplish in that because I an I've been annotating it. It takes me longer, even longer to read when I annotate. So, um, so there's that. Then we have Once Upon a Broken Heart by... Um, I almost said Lucy score. <laughs> By Stephanie Garber. Um, this one is on audio as well, but, um, I mean, it's on the Libby app, but not for me. It's good. It's, there's a long hold for it. I probably won't get it for a while, but it's also on YouTube. So, um, it would it would probably take me a lot longer to get it done because of the fact that the highest you can go speed wise of listening on YouTube is two times speed and it's just not fast enough for me so I just get kind of frustrated um, like I could have been done with it already kind of sort of deal but um so yeah I'm gonna be working on that today 
And then I have the X Hex um, by Aaron Sterling on audio through the Libby app that I am planning to devour. I might actually go ahead and read this first um, because I was really enjoying it and I can't wait to find out what's going to happen. So then we have two manga classics. We have Romeo and Juliet and Pride and Prejudice. Um, since they are mangas, they sh shouldn't take me very long to read them. Um, it just depends on how, you know, how dense um, the mangas are. Um, it kind of looks like it might take me a little bit longer because there's an extra, extra words in this one. So um, these might take me a couple of hours. Hopefully not, but... Hopefully it takes me less than that, but um, we shall see. And then last but not least, I want to get to The Do-Over um, by um, Lynn Painter. I've heard a lot of great things about this author, uh, and um, this will be my, my first time trying any of her stuff. So this better not disappoint me, because she, Lynn Painter is really hyped right now. So, we shall see what I think of all this stuff. So, I'm going to stop yakking at you and get to reading. Um, but first, I'm going to watch Katie is reading. She posted a vlog today. And I'm so excited! Sorry, that was a little dramatic, but, you know... Ready? Ready? Oh, come on, you stupid ads. These are so versatile. You can wear them with just about anything. You can... See why I like her so much? She really knows how to do a vlog. Like, it's just, it's relaxing. It's very um, calming. Um, tends to cheer me up when I'm having a bad day. Uh, it's just very aesthetically pleasing. It's very organized. It's very, um, there. she always has to, a bunch of time lapses of her reading and things like that. And it's just... That's like the perfect kind of vlog. If you, uh, she she does like a, a a good amount of time lapses of reading. She does, um, of course, she does talk about the books um, as she's reading them and things like that. The way Peru's Project does, but Peru's Project just does not do very many time lapses of her reading, and it's kind of it's kind of frustrating. It's like a a reading vlog is supposed to be about you reading, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get off of here now. I've yacked for like seven minutes and get some stuff done, so later! Oh, I forgot to show you. I am wearing my little kitty cat witch um, Halloween-y um, nightgown and the um, <laughs> Friday the 13th pants. They don't match, but it's okay. It's okay. But I mean, they're both Halloween, so that's it's a theme. And orange and yellow are the colors of Halloween. So yeah, I'd say uh, sweet.
Oh my god, you guys. That's so good. I totally get the hype now. She is just an amazing writer. And I just... I could not put it down for the life of me. It was... So good. I laughed a lot. Got a little bit angry there for a little bit because of something that went down. You already know what went down. Um, if you read it, and and then I got, you know, I cried. You know, happy tears too, sad tears. It was just, it was a good time, and so five stars. Five stars. Okay, people, so I just finished Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, and I actually enjoyed that more than I thought it would. I think I'm going to give it four stars. So, yeah. It was so delightfully romantic. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Later. Okay, so um, I'm going to be going to the library here in just a few minutes. So two of the books that I did finish so far in this vlog are library books, so I will be returning them. Um, so you won't see them at the end of the vlog, but I will talk about them at the end of the vlog. So um, as you can see, I'm starting Romeo and Juliet, which is a library book, but I probably I won't finish it until I get back from the library, but I'm going to go ahead and return the do-over by Lynn, Lynn Painter, which I I really want to own someday, which it was just, it was just really, really good. It was very well, well written. Words, Erica. Um, so I definitely want to read more by this author, and so I'm hoping to find something else by her at the library. We shall see. Um, sweet. And then... having difficulties here. And then of course I finished Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen and I gave that four stars. So I'm going to go ahead and return this huge stack of library books <laughs> and get more. I do have one that's on hold. I don't know what it is yet so I guess I'll just see it when I get there. So I, you will see a little library montage, so later.
else that we need to do it. Okay, people, so if you didn't notice, we did go to the library like I said I was going to, and, well, you know, I couldn't refrain myself. So I got as many books as I returned, because I have a problem. So I got Attack on Titan, volumes 23 and 24, and as I was eating, I, I started uh, this one. I'm halfway through. So, I'll definitely finish that. And then, <clears throat> then I got uh, Witch Hat Atelier Volume 6. I ended up getting Emma by Jane Austen since I actually really enjoyed Pride and Prejudice. So, so we'll see what I think of that one. And then I got... A Man and His Cat Volume 1 by Umi Sakumi. So. Sakura. Sorry. My bad. So, I'm going to read this one next after I finish Attack on Titan. Because. I'm really into cats right now. I wonder what that is. Why am I into cats right now? Because you have a horse cat. He did steal my heart. Then I got volume one of John Wick. And then I got volumes five, six, seven, eight. of the Water Dragon's Bride by Ray Toma. So yeah. I will be reading those very, very soon. Cha cha. So yeah, I'm gonna get back to reading and I will update you more later. Really? Try to record. air blew it out. Dang it. cuties. Hi handsome. Okay people so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I didn't get to all the things that I wanted to today but I still finished quite a few books. I read six books. Well I finished six books. I had started a seventh one, but then I DNF'd it and returned it to the library, and that was Romeo and Juliet. I don't think that I, either I'm not into it, or I'm just not in the mood for it. So, maybe I'll try again some other time. But, um... The first book that I finished was The Wonderful World of Peanuts by Charles M. Schultz. This was 128 pages and I ended up giving this one four stars. 
Then I finished Hello Girls by Brittany Cavallaro and Emily Henry. I really enjoyed this one. I can't remember what I rated it. Because I forgot to write it down. It's all in Goodreads though. That link will be down below if you want to go check that out. Um, this one was 322 pages. I think I ended up giving it 5 stars. Or was it 4 stars? Yeah, I can't remember. Anyway. Then I finished The Do-Over by Lynn Painter. It was a library book, so I returned it. Um, it was 288 pages, and I gave it five stars. Yeah, it's definitely going to be one of my favorite books of all time, for sure. Then I finished Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. That was a library book as well. It was a classic manga. It was 368 pages, and I gave it four stars. Then I finished... Attack on Titan, Volume 23, by um, Hajime Isayama. Um, I ended up giving this one four stars, and it was 185 pages. And last but not least, I finished A Man and His Cat, uh, Volume 1, by Omi Sakur. Um, this was really, really cute and adorable and sad, and I ended up giving it five stars. And it was 144 pages. So, how many pages did I read today? I only have 128. And then I finished the rest of the 239 pages. I had left that, so 239, 288, 168, 185, 144 equals 1,352 pages. So I think it was a success. So anyway, I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please click that subscribe button down below. Um, if, if you want to see more content like this and click that little bell notification. I'm trying to still try to reach a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. Wish me luck because I still have a little ways to go. I guess if I don't, I'll just make it that goal for next year. And hopefully I can reach it by then. It's very disheartening. But anyway. I am thankful for all the subscribers that I do have though. So there's that. <coughs> so anyway. All of my links are down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later. I've got romance and nonfiction. A many. I've got horror and dystopia and galore. You want fantasy? I've got plenty. But who cares? No big deal. I want more.